Raymond, I know you're always a confident guy, but to actually sit in that audience and see him up there and know that you guys got this done, what was that like for you? Man, it's, it's surreal, you know, just to see him, you know, joining the squad, um, you know, joining the family, because that's, you know, that's the way we look at this. You know, it's a surreal feeling, and, you know, I'm excited for him. You know, he's happy with this decision. Like he said, he wanted to make his decision as a man, a decision for himself, and, you know, I'm happy he had the opportunity to do that. I'm happy that we were the team that he chose to be with, and I'm looking forward to getting out on the floor with him. You guys all piled onto that plane, flew to the Hamptons. What were you guys thinking when the meeting was over, knowing your first and four other teams are going to pitch him before he makes his decision? Um, I, you know, I didn't really worry about what line, what the lineup was and, you know, how the team meetings would go. I think our focus was on how our meeting went. And I thought, you know, when we walked out of there, I thought the meeting went great. Obviously, there was a lot of things that still needed to be done. And, you know, um, he had a lot of things to kind of take in, you know, but overall I knew we had a great meeting. I felt confident that it was that we did enough, but at the end of the day it's, it's more than just that, you know, and so I'm just excited that we're able to get it done. There seems to be a lot of chatter that you guys are going to be villains now. You're not going to be darlings like you've been for a lot of this two-year run. How do you think this team will handle that kind of spotlight? Um, we're, going, we're going out to play basketball, you know, uh, that's what it boils down to at the end of the day, whether people love you, whether they hate you, at the end of the day, you got to get between these lines and play the best game that you can possibly play. So that's going to be our focus. And I can't say that I haven't been a villain once or twice in my career anyway. So once looking twice. forward to it. If you could think back a couple of weeks to where you were walking out of that arena after game seven and then sitting up on that podium today, just what was what was this day like for you? Almost surreal. You know, you, you never expect to add a, a player of Kellen, Kevin's caliber um, a couple of weeks after you lose in the playoffs. It, it was it was kind of strange, but um, euphoric as well. I mean, he's such a great player, a great person, great teammate, fits right in with our guys. And uh, so to see him with that Warrior jersey was uh, was pretty cool. You know what we're going to do in the media. You landed the big fish in free agency, but now we're going to say, how, how on earth can these four guys play with one basketball? What, what's your response to that kind of talk? Well, they all like to pass, um, and that's the truth. Um, I think one of the reasons we've been good the last couple of years is the number of playmakers that we have on the floor at any given time, You know, whether it's uh, you know, Sean Livingston, Andre, you know, Bogut, um, Draymond, Steph and Clay. I mean, we move the ball, and a lot of people can make plays. And Kevin is a great passer, and he he didn't come here to score 35 a game. He came here to play with the four guys that went to New York to recruit him. That was the main pitch was just those guys, and they all like to pass. They all love to play the game. They play it in a in a style that that includes everyone, and we think Kevin will fit right into that. For the better part of two seasons, you guys have really been darlings of this league. But now, in a lot of other cities, you're, you're not going to be seen that way, even maybe more than those Bulls team you played on. This, this, this team is going to be painted as villains. How do you think you guys are, your guys are going to handle that? It already started kind of by the end of the year. We could kind of feel it a little bit. I think um, you know, we've, we've won at a really high rate, obviously, the last two years. And at first, it was, we were you know, on our honeymoon period. And then and we got married, I guess. And uh, things, reality kind of set in. And we had, a, you know, we had that feeling of being, um, you know, the villain or whatever. And now I'm sure we will be more so. But um, you want to be one or the other. Or you want to be the, either the darling or the villain. When you're stuck in between and nobody cares, that's when you got a problem.